What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Andy Crimson and this is Mukbangs and Hangs. Today we are featuring a local spot which I haven't been to yet but I wanted to try out their food. It's called Tacos El Plebe and I have the Plebe combo so I'm going to unwrap this for you and we're going to check it out and taste test this. Guys there's literally so much food on my plate right now I can't like properly display it but we're gonna we're gonna go through it don't worry so a plebe combo has some street tacos it smells delicious i chose the uh steak asado it smells super good it's got some grilled onions cilantro and they gave me all the fixings so some salsas i'm gonna try a little bit of that since i've been like you know getting braver Ooh, i think we just we have green salsa i think this is avocado there's the red one Wow, there's just so much, guys. And here's the lime. Sweet. They, the combo also comes with, like, this loaded potato with some meat, the sour cream, and I'm guessing cheese is all up in there with some chips. And we've also got some chato beans. See if I can see without spilling it. So there's just a lot going on right now, and I am here for it. I'm starving. I just can't wait. I'm gonna unwrap this one real quick. Yeah. We're gonna dice these. Woo! That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Love it. And I'm gonna try to get a thumbnail. I have no idea how we're gonna do this, guys. But I don't know. Let's we'll see. I don't want to spill these beans. Okay. And the combo also comes with, what is it? This Mexican Coke. So I'm excited. It has probably has a lot of sugar. I'm not going to drink the whole thing, but I thought you can't, you can't do this street taco stuff without like authenticity, you know? All right. That's going to stay over there. And we're going to prepare these tacos. Always like to throw a little bit of cilantro. I know some people don't care for it. I love it. I think it tastes great. What about you guys? And it's been a while since we featured uh, someplace local, so I'm excited to do this. I mean, everything smells amazing. So I have high hopes for the first bite. Mmm, that is good. Alrighty, let's see what kind of salsa we've got. Here's it's this one's a little bit more orange. I want to try first. You taste test with the chip, right? Little pica. <laughs> let's try this one. Fuck, we're just gonna try everything. This one looks. I don't know if I care for this one. I'm not sure what kind it is. It's a little bit darker than this one. This one is more like the avocado color, like the cream color. So maybe not that one. Oh, there's more chips. Let's try the red or this orange one. It's a little tangy. This is gonna sound weird, but it kind of reminds me of seafood. Hmm, I'm not sure. Ooh, that kicks a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay, I think we're just gonna try one of the tacos plain and then we can add salsa along the way if I want to. Look at this. So cute, corn tortilla, some steak, onion, and cilantro, first bite. Mmm. Hmm. 
great flavor by itself. First buy it, can only describe it as juicy, um, tasty. So far, so good with the meat. You know, sometimes, sometimes tacos or street tacos, they can get kind of little nerve endings in the meat. It's not very pleasant when you're trying to eat it. Mm. These are good. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm gonna try these beans too. Some chata beans. Mmm, I like that. They have the perfect taste. Some people like their beans a little bit different. People like a lot of bacon in them or maybe more spicy. This is just like a perfect, um, for me, this is perfect because I don't like it too spicy and I don't really care for like the big chunks of bacon in it. These are hot. Good. Woo. Let's get into this potato. So excited. First dig around. Oh, it is cheesy goodness, guys. I can get like a little bit of a cheese pool or something. Gooey, look at that. Cheese. Mmm. That is good, guys. Very creamy, cheesy. And the meat is so soft. Mmm. This is hitting the spot so far, guys. Oh my god. Delicious. So what's new guys? What have you been doing? I know when I released the last video, the chapter video had just come out also for Ghost. So we didn't get to really talk about it, I don't think. But I want to know what your theories are, if you have any. What do you think is happening? I think it, it was one of my favorite chapters out of all of them. There was just something about the way it was shot, directed. I really appreciated it. It was, I liked it, it was funny. I also had no idea those phone things existed and it was pretty handy, right? You're playing a game and you have your phone like this. I didn't know that was a thing. But I don't know, a lot of people have been like freaking out. Oh, Kopi is gonna die. What, you know, what's going on? What's with the extra glass coffin? I think that we're not going to see the end of Copia for quite some time. Um, just because there's just so much more to do. If anything, the extra coffin might be for his old robes, his old body per se. Because I have a feeling like he's going to be resurrected as something else if anything happens to him. Is this new form, this new evolution? So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be sad or worry about if he's going to stay or not. Okay, let's try a little bit of that. Ooh, next one. Hmm. So, the salsa by itself, I mixed with like a chip or dipped with the chip, doesn't really do it, but mixed in with all this flavor is really good. Mm. It's not even that hot, come to think of it. Mm. I guess it's been a minute since I've had some legit street tacos. This is so good. Mm. 
they have a lot of other things too like they're known for like um a foot long quesadilla um some kind of lonche i don't know so far i'd be willing to go back <laughs> Again, all of this is from um, Tacos de Plebe, and I actually decided to like look up what Plebe meant. It's kind of like a slang term or a common word for like somebody from the working class. I also saw that it was um, how people referred to like young people, kids, like young young girls and boys. So I don't know, but whatever <laughs> they're doing over there, it's great. Look at this. We need to do like a cheese, a big old cheesy pool or something. Big old chip. Mmm. I wonder if I could like lift this. This really slaps. Didn't do that much. <laughs> So it feels like summer is just around the corner, even though we have like a week of like cold weather. The wind has been crazy down here in South Texas. Mm -hmm. We also have like a meteor enter the atmosphere. I don't know if you guys heard about that. That was crazy. I was home when that event happened, but I didn't really hear or feel anything. It was in the next like city over. But I'm surprised. I was like outside or muscle mouse around that time. I didn't hear anything. But... People in the valley, they're like hyping this whole thing up. They've already created 5Ks, like UFO 5K, Meteor 5K. It's super funny. Everybody's banking on it, making merch. Drinks, theme of themed events. I mean, that's just how we do here. I guess that's exciting. A little bit on these chips. We're going to try... Well, after I get some more of this potato, I want to try that red salsa. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. Oh, man. Busted. That's all I can say. So good. The only thing I will say about these beans, even though I do like the flavor, there's a little bit too much water. Like, I wish there was a little bit more beans. Oh, I have to shout out my fellow YouTuber. I'm wearing her merch. Hungry fat chick. She is super sweet. I, I love her. I like watching her videos. Um, I follow her on Instagram. I just love her personality. She's always so soft and sweet spoken, soft spoken, I should say. She's always eating like this massive amount of food, but she was one of the first people I started like watching when I was getting into like mukbangs and watching people eat and stuff like that. So. If you guys want to check her out her channel, go look up Hungry Fat Chick on YouTube. She's done like collabs with Nick Akato. I don't know if she's done collabs with anybody else. Mm. I wanted to get some Nick Akato merch, but bruh, it's a little too pricey for me. Um, there needs to be like some better designs, I think. Like, I especially wanted, like, the tank or, like, a workout tank that said, it's just water weight, because I think it's hilarious. Um, I started getting more into Nick Akato lately because he was doing this um, podcast with another YouTuber, and I really like his personality. I like his, the way, I just know, I just like him. And it's not always the crazy drama that you see and all the compilations, like, people make of him. I don't know, but that's just me. I don't know if you guys watch that or you're into that or not.
Okay, we're gonna try red salsa time. So far, the green one was pretty good, so. Mmm. <clears throat> this one kicks a little more, for sure. Mm. But... It's not overpowering. Not not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think, though, I would prefer the, the light-colored green one. Mm. This was worth the wait, guys. I, I was waiting a little bit for it, but I'm like, oh, yes. So, I've talked about this before on the channel, and I periodically talk about it because, I don't know, it's kind of like my diary, I guess. My little soapbox. <laughs> so, I've been getting back into um, words of affirmation and things like that. Because uh, a while back, especially during the pandemic and at times where I'm not feeling so hot or like so like, you know, mentally okay, I would make affirmation pictures, posters, and just put them somewhere where I can see them. And I keep them up as long as I need to see them. So recently I started feeling kind of like, eh, again, so I just made like two of them today and it really helps, you know, people might think it's silly, but if you really need like a pick me up, a post-it note on the mirror every morning, if you need to remind yourself of how special and awesome you are, or, you know, how to stay focused on your goals, it helps. At least it helps me. So I've been doing that lately, trying to be like more mindful of what my thoughts are are doing what are they thinking because if you're like worrying about something constantly you're only going to bring about the the very outcome that you didn't want more most of the time right i mean it can only help if you're just saying everything's going to be okay even though you're not for sure 100 percent know if it's going to be okay but that's better than the alternative right so that's what i've been up to lately i've also been practicing some yoga and guys I, I scoffed at yoga at one point, but it's not a joke. <laughs> like, I'm kind of active. I'm, you know, physically active. But doing yoga is something else. It engages a lot more of your core strength, of your arms, your legs. And I've noticed a difference. I've only been doing it for about a couple weeks. And I really enjoy it because it really helps, like, set the tone for the entire day. The days that I do do it. So do you guys do yoga or what are some things that y'all do to help you find your inner peace? Leave a comment down below. Ah, don't eat the foil. Mm. The potato is so soft and it's got like the perfect amount of butter in it. I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know what makes it taste that great, but it's really good. Now, I've been to like the local food truck parks and occasionally, you know, get some tacos. Sometimes they'll bring you like a potato. But for, I think these like take the cake, honestly, like 10 out of 10 for these. Um, j not just because I was super hungry, but no, like seriously, the first bite, uh, super juicy, well flavored, well cooked, no nerves. Um, the potato, excellent taste and texture. And the beans were good. Like I said, maybe just could have used a little bit more, a little less uh, water. Um, but yeah, like 10 out of 10 for El Tacos de Plebe. Like, I really like these. I don't think I've had any 
this good, you know, in quite some time. So props to them. Like I said, they're a local place. They're in McCann's. You can always go, if you're local, go and check them out. Um, definitely probably going to be ordering some other stuff next time. Oh, I just, I want to keep going, but I know I'm going to get like so full. I don't know, guys. I, I really enjoyed this meal. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for watching my videos. Your support means the world. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my links are down in the description. I also have a Patreon, YouTube channel members where I'd be posting behind the scenes content, extra stuff, giving you all a heads up of what I'm planning to do. <clears throat> But I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!